Hi guys, thanks for watching The Karina Show. This week, it's my turn to cook uh, while we're watching the football game. The last couple weeks, I've got lucky and got out of it, and I haven't made any main dishes at all, just side dishes, but let me just tell you guys a secret. Nobody likes the people that just show up with a bag of chips, okay? That's not gonna be me, guys. That is not gonna be me. I am going to cook everything up really good today. I seasoned the chicken really good. I'm making some rice, I got some rice on the pot. I got this black bead and corn salad that I'm working on right now because I wanna be the person that shows up with food. I can't just get away with just bringing a cute little 18 month old baby and be like, hey, what y'all got cooking on the pit? Not this time. This time, I'm in charge of bringing the food, and it's a lot of work, it's a lot of cleanup, it's a lot of sanitizing after dealing with that German chicken, but you know what, it's all gonna be worth it, and it's gonna be so great to see the look on my family's face when they eat the juicy chicken while they're watching the Cowboys beat the Browns. Let's cross our fingers that Dak does a great job, because I feel like he will. I am definitely not an armchair quarterback, like the people that just yell at the screen and say, come on, Okay, sometimes I do, but like, come on, Dad just just throws it like so close. I'm like, can't you pull an Aaron Rodgers once in a while and do a Hail Mary? That would be great. So uh, a couple minutes left before the rice is finished and I'm about to put all this salad together and go over there and watch the second half of the Cowboys game with my family. And I hope the chicken comes out good. Cross your fingers that it comes out juicy and everybody likes it because I just love it when people like my food and compliment me a lot because I love compliments. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I have a lot of stuff to do, so I'm gonna season some chicken, and we're gonna um, we're gonna eat it probably during halftime. It's gonna be a smoked chicken, and I'm not gonna Google anything. I'm just gonna do everything myself, and we're gonna see how this comes out. I'm not gonna do any recipes. I'm putting all my seasonings together: salt cayenne pepper, garlic powder, black pepper, and then onion powder. So I'm gonna put all this spices together in a bowl first because I don't want to contaminate the seasoning things. So I just wanna make sure to be safe. Food safety is very important, guys. It's not sexy, but it's important, okay? It's not a hot topic, but it's an important topic because everybody needs to pay attention to food safety. And I took a food bacteriology class in college when I was at Texas A&M. Giggle Maggie's. And um, I've just, since I took that class, I've had a intense, strong fear of getting um, salmonella or um, Clostridium botulinum or um, some other really scary bacteria. So I just wanna make sure to be safe all the time. And then I'm also going to season up some of these chickens with some of these lemon oranges and then these regular limes. And then of course, onion and garlic. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna shove the onion up the chicken's like butt and then see how that comes out. I really cannot wait. Um, I don't know how much seasoning I'm gonna need. So as you can see now, what I'm doing, I just made my seasoning in this bowl. And then now I'm going, going to wrap the chicken in foil. Lots of foil. So foil is my friend. And just keep in mind, after all this, I'm just gonna sanitize the counters like crazy because like I said, food safety is really important, y'all. Like, I cannot stress this enough. I even have my chicken in this bag separated from, was separated from all my groceries. So, uh, yeah. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna put some oil around it. Um, I don't want it to be like dry. So I'll massage the chicken with some of this oil, can regular canola oil. And I got this one. It's Five fifty nine. Could have just got a rotisserie chicken. It'll be done already. You don't have to do any work. But anyway, part of the fun for football Sunday this week is going to be slow roasting that chicken. So let's talk about the game. Let's talk about what we think is going to happen for the game. 
So I'm expecting a lot out of the Cowboys. They're playing the Browns today and I am just so used to the Browns being like a sucky team. Uh, but I was talking to Christian about it yesterday and he said that the Browns are getting a lot better. So if the Cowboys lose to the Browns, I mean, it is what it is, you know, but I'm going to be a little bit upset, like, really? Um, but Odell Beckham Jr., I heard he's on that team now, so, ew, his chicken is leaking. Ew. Chicken juice everywhere. Okay, so keep in mind, guys, this is my first time doing this. Uh, once the chicken, ew. I don't know what to do. Okay, once the chicken, once you take it out of the plastic, it just leaks a lot of juice. So you might want to do this over the sink first because it was, I guess, frozen at one point. So like all the ice melted inside of it. Me and my ideas. I should have just bought some freaking ribs and put them on the pit. It would have been so much easier. Okay, washing my hands before I touch this. Let's just put some of this in a bowl. That way I don't have to worry about cross-contamination. I'll wash the bowl afterward. Anyway, back to talking about the game. So yeah, so the Cowboys are gonna play the Browns and I have high hopes for them. I think they're gonna do a great job. And let's talk about my boy Dak, okay? Dak gets a lot of, uh, a lot of heat, but if you can't stand the heat then, you should probably get out of the kitchen because you're getting paid millions, so it's okay if you get a little bit of heat. But I'm still I'm still a fan of Dak. I think he's going to come around and I think he's gonna show everybody that he is a valuable player. Yeah, that's what I feel about Dak. And I'm expecting a lot from Ezekiel Elliott too. So I'm just massaging this chicken. Really good. Put this. Okay, so you can see that in that cavity there, I put the onion. And now I'm just going to put juice over it from this lemon thing. Okay, so I used that seasoning. I put some orange and lime juice all over it, a little bit of oil, so it's all seasoned up nicely. Um, so we'll see what we do now. Now I'm just gonna wrap it in foil really, really tightly and then take it to, um, to the pit. Okay, so I'm really excited about the game. I, like I said, I'm missing some of it right now, but whatever, uh, stuff you have to sacrifice to eat good. Cause I like to eat good, y'all. Um, I contemplated just buying some pizzas, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna make something good. So hopefully um, the chicken is gonna come out so delicious. Uh, Christians will be in charge of smoking that. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. The corn smells delicious. Mmm. So we got the corn, we got canned black beans, and then also the, this stuff that I cut up. I'm going to mix it all together and it's going to be so good. So this is, this is my black beans and corn salad. It's just the base of it. I'm adding some of the veggies that I cut up. Come on, get off of the cutting board. Oh. So yeah, I can't make it spicy because not everybody likes spicy stuff. Okay, so when I'm making food, I just figure like spices will be good on everything. I don't like like bland food. I like my food to have some flavor, flavor. So I got all this stuff mixed together. It's gonna be good on the rice. So I have probably put some sour cream on the side. And then I gotta put some cheese on this. Okay, so I'm almost done making my salad and I'm gonna put some of this queso cotija, queso cotija cheese. Um, so I don't know if any of you guys have tried it. It's a uh, I think it's more of like a Hispanic thing, but I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments see if you use it. It's kind of similar to Parmesan cheese, 
maybe also some feta cheese but it's called queso cotija and it i got it at h-e-b and it's really good with corn um i don't know if you've had like the elotes or whatever like the seasoned one with mayonnaise and all that and uh cheese and, and lime and chili pepper and all that so it's really good i'm gonna put some on my salad and hopefully everybody likes it because i like it and the chef gets to make the rolls anyway so we'll see but anyway um I gotta try all this and be sanitized about everything. So anyway, so I'm almost finished. It's been a lot of work. It's a lot of work getting the food together. So if you guys go to barbecues a lot and you enjoy eating at people's houses and you enjoy all the food and everything like that, please consider um, offering to bring a dish once in a while. Um, I'm pretty sure the, the regular host would appreciate it if they don't already tell you already. Like, well, my family is very upfront about everything. So they'll call you out if you don't bring stuff. But um, but yeah, if you have a family that's very like um, quiet and they don't tend to speak their mind, maybe just take a hint and just, well, from this video and just offer to bring something like, you know, unique or something that people will definitely appreciate while watching football games. So I'm so excited. Gonna watch the football game in a couple of minutes. Rice is almost done. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I got the corn black bean salad and the rice ready to go. So I just gotta put some foil on these babies and then I'll be good to go. Also got a couple other things that I'm gonna bring to the barbecue, such as these Southwestern tortillas, because they ran out of the regular ones. And then yum, 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 cupcakes. Okay, I'm finally, finally taking all the food to the barbecue. Uh, don't worry, it's just the grass and I'm just in my yard, I'm not driving. I'm not driving on the road like this, duh. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already done. I'm so excited. I feel like I've done a lot of work. I feel like I'm a caterer for like this big event that's only like a couple people, but still, it still takes a lot of work. So I think that we should all thank people that prepare food, okay? It takes a lot of work making sure you do everything right, making sure you your hair doesn't fall on the food, making sure your hands are clean, making sure you don't cross-contaminate everything. So I think we we underestimate the amount of effort people who cook um, who cook do. So let's all give a round of applause to all the all the cooks, all the chefs in the house. Thank you so much for all your work. You have a great day. Okay. Let's check out this chicken. Oh my God, why is it so dark? What are you thinking? A little pink. I'm gonna face it so I don't, don't know what's gonna happen to me. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, this looks good. Let's see how this chicken is gonna come out. Maybe I should get a cutting board, right? <laughs> Okay, so the chicken cooked for about uh, two and a half hours. See that juice coming out of it? It looks like it's burned, but it's not. It's very juicy. Um, so yeah, about two and a half hours. It's very tasty and juicy. Okay, so that one came out really good too. Nice and nice and juicy 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 ouch it's hot so do you need like a rag <laughs> yummy looking so good and juicy juicy okay so we're slicing the chicken carving that full chicken that we just cooked it looks nice and juicy there's not a dry piece on it so what did you think about the food that i contributed i love the food it was so good what did Something you different i love the corn salad i love the rice the chicken was good yay thank That's you that. thank you five stars did you like the food we brought <laughs> Okay, so we just finished watching the Cowboys game, which didn't 
have the outcome that we hoped for, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We don't we don't mind. We're gonna still stay Cowboys fans. We're not bandwagon fans. We'll stay watching the Cowboys and hoping for better better um games in the future, maybe make some changes to the team, fire some people if you need to, do what you gotta do to win. Um, and the good thing is everybody liked the food and we had fun with family and we're gonna continue enjoying each other's company, playing some cornhole. So you guys have a great week ahead and don't forget to be nice and follow the golden rule.